Forty does for charity. Does he ever sleep? Don't ask me. Every time we work together, we stay up for 24 hours. <laughs> well, you, you've seen him get a lot of honors and awards in his career. Oh, hundreds of awards and trophies and plaques. But and... tonight, we are going to see him receive a tremendous honor. Right, a statue in the form of Jerry Lewis. I mean, stop and realize this. Yeah. Your own statue. Yeah. This is the paramount, preeminent, unparagoned honor, a statue. It's also a pretty good practical joke. <laughs> Here's the victim, Jerry Lewis. He's now a permanent resident of Las Vegas, and he thinks he's being honored as Outstanding Citizen of the Year with a statue dedicated on the steps of City Hall. Now here's accomplice number one, Joe Stabile, Jerry's personal manager. He hasn't told Jerry that the statue is only temporary. It's made of ice. Here's accomplice number two, Pete Farbeauty, Las Vegas comedian. He's acting as the MC at the ceremonies. Now, this is the outside of the Las Vegas City Hall where the joke will take place. We made the banner up to make it all look legitimate. Now, there's the ice statue of Jerry, and it's already starting to melt. Now, here's our crew posing as a news team. Now, Jerry's been looking forward to seeing this statue. He's been told it's by a local sculptor, but nobody said it was an ice sculptor. <laughs> Here's Jerry coming to shake hands with Pete Barbeauty. We asked some City Hall employees to be our audience. For those of you who just walked up, we are here honoring one of our good citizens in the city of Las Vegas, and the distinctive award we are presenting to this gentleman today is called the Most Outstanding Citizen of the Year. And here to make it official, to say just a few words, our Mayor Pro Tem, Mr. Ron Lurie. He's in on the joke, of course. Thank you very much. It's indeed an honor to be part of the ceremony. Today's dedication marks a first that we hope will be an annual event in Las Vegas, honoring the great men and women who have chosen Las Vegas as their home. If it's annual, I'll take it again sure, next year. Yeah. Next year. Every year. Every year. Well, we're going to work on that. We're proud to have Jerry Lewis as a citizen of our community, and it gives us a great sense of civic pride to honor him with this statue and his image. This sculpture, created by a local artist, will stand as a monument to a man who has affected the lives of millions of people through his generosity, now, remember, talent, the statue is and made of ice. most of all, his sense of humor. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Now, Pete's going to read some phony letters that we made Before up. Before you get up here to embarrass yourself, Jerry. <laughs> A couple of letters, one from uh, the governor's mansion. It says, Dear Jerry, congratulations on being named Las Vegas Most Outstanding Citizen of the Year. An honor to have you as a resident of this great city and, of course, the great state of Nevada. Signed, Richard Bryan, the governor of Nevada. You can applaud for that if you want, folks. <laughs> as you know, a couple days ago, our distinguished uh, leader of us all was here in town to make an appearance to speak before a group of uh, conventioners. So I want to read this letter, and this is very nice. It says, I was pleased to hear you're being honored with Las Vegas Outstanding Citizen Award. You deserve it. Over the years, you brought the gift of laughter to millions of people. You have given generously of your talent, your energy, for which we are all grateful. And it says, Nancy and I congratulate you on this honor. And it's signed, Bill and Nancy Smith, who run the ranch up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know I'm kidding about it. <laughs> it's, of course, signed uh, Nancy and the uh, President of the United States, Ronald Reagan. So, uh, so may I present to you a, a gentleman that I've known not very well for a number of years. No, it hasn't been that long, has it? We haven't, no. Uh, we haven't known one another for that long. Yeah, yeah, we met one time. Uh, no, no, that wasn't you. That was somebody else. Anyway, this is the first time. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever met, Mr. Jerry Lewis, if you will, please. Thank you, Peter. Hurry up, Jerry. It's cold. You bet. I am so thrilled to see a couple of token firemen, <laughs> a couple of cops that have nothing to do, some street walkers, and a bum that's been here for four months. It's very gratifying to know that all of your work that Peter had made mention of, and of course, Mayor Lurie made mention of, it's, it's great to know that all of those years of hard work will bring you a crowd of about seven people <laughs> when they honor you. <laughs> you 
don't do that many matinees. <laughs> On behalf of my wife and my associates and myself, we are deeply honored and very, very proud to be a citizen of one of the best cities in the world. And I hope that the television cameras will give me a copy of this because I really want to see what this local artist did. It's going to look like Shemp Howard, I think. <laughs> but I can't Howard. wait to see what the statue looks like. Thank you all very much. God bless you. I think uh, with that, Jerry, I think there's nothing more for us to do except uh, unveil the statue. And if you, uh, well, if you want to help me, maybe the two of us are... We just tear off a piece of gaffer's tape or whatever it is here. Something ironic about the bells going off. Yeah, I think it's uh, <laughs> you know, it's going to be Quasimodo or something. <laughs> Either that or Bill Carter. <laughs> 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 what the hell is that? It's made out of ice. Send our love and blah 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 and those on the television show bloopers and practical jokes, Ed McMahon and Dick Clark. But you do get to keep the statue, Jerry. Uh, I, now I'm really touched. <laughs> I never believed it was possible. I, I had cameramen hiding in all these buildings to shoot pictures of my statue. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, now, now we can go to your house and have martinis. We got the ice. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back after this. Next, classic commercials from around the world. Then some big stars get some pies in their food.